Uh, Alright guys, Gunrex here for the second part of the UE camera tutorial. This is uh, dealing with triggering. I actually switched spawns on you guys right here. Um, but yeah, so we'll let's get started. Uh, if you look up here, uh, this little eye is probably selected for you. You actually, as soon as you're done with cameras, just unselect that. Uh, it can cause a lot of problems. Then you want to right click on the ground here, add actor, add trigger. Um, you move it around with these arrows here. Um, I'm going to put it in the corner. It's generally a good idea to put it in the corner because basically this trigger starts your animation. So you want to have it somewhere that you know where it is so you can just get to there easily, not like in the middle of open space. It can be hard to find. Uh, now we're going to open Kismet again. So here's our original matinee. Um, oh, over here, I didn't really explain this well the last time, random ambient audio thing. Um, Kismet is the visual programming language for the Unreal Editor. Um, so basically, instead of like programs and text and stuff, you actually do stuff physically. Like you see on the left there, level loaded and visible. That means when that happens, something happens. Basically, everything that's they program for this level is just that random sounds, like insects and stuff, random ambient audio. But uh, other maps like Fuel Depot, like that causes the uh, fuel canisters to explode, stuff like that. But we're not really going to bother with that now. We're going to look down... Uh, our matinee sequence we made. You want to right click over here, new event using trigger 1, touch. Uh, basically this means when you touch your trigger s that we just made in the corner there, something's going to happen. I uh, want to right click again in this space, uh, add new action, toggle, toggle cinematic mode. Um, just right, so we put that up there. Um, right click, new variable, object player. Um, okay, so move that. Oh, um, to move stuff, you holding control and move it back and forth. Uh, to move the screen, um, you just click with the left mouse button and move to scroll in and out. Use the scroll thing. That's how you navigate Kismet. But we want to click on touched and click enable. Target player out play. You just click on the little boxes there and drag it to where you're supposed to. Uh, then we want to click on toggle cinematic mode, hold control and click on player. Control C, click over here, Control V. Uh, move that over there. Right click it, cl break all links to objects. Then we want to do completed to disable target to player. That just means when our cinematic's done, uh, you won't stay in cinematic mode. You'll go back to being a player in the game. Because we're actually going to run a little. Oh, uh, here, let's do this again. New, uh, new event using trigger one, touch. Then you go right click, new action, toggle cinematic mode. Then new variable object player. Uh, then you want to copy toggle cinematic and player again and paste it over there. Um, yeah, so that's that. Um, here, what I was saying earlier, you're actually, you play your own version here. It says play this level in an editor window. Um, so you just click that and uh, it's going to open this in an editor window. Um, the way it works is it opens like your own little portal to gears, I guess. Uh, with the gears map you edited. Uh, you want a program like Fraps, F-R-A-P-S, to be able to uh, download it. But I am going to go walk up to this, the our switch that's on this corner. It should start the cinematic. There we go. It's probably a little bit choppy. My FPS in Camtasia isn't very good. But, um, yeah, that should be how you make your thing. So you click Escape to get out of that. Um, that is about it. Um, hope you guys uh, enjoyed it. Hope it was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, just send me a message or leave a comment. Uh, thanks.